What is up, YouTube fragrance lovers out there? Thanks for joining me here on my channel again, Stephen Sturgill. I'm your host, for hopefully for the next couple minutes anyway, before you get bored and click off to someone else's channel. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I hope. Guys, we're looking today at another Baldessarini fragrance. If you watched my channel, you'll know that I recently reviewed uh, Private Affairs. And that was a very nice, somewhat mature and somewhat mysterious scent. Uh, not great on longevity, not great on projection, but if you remember, that's the one I said, you've got to go heavy, heavy, heavy on the sprays. Uh, and once you get enough coverage, then it, it will, it will stick around and linger longer than you might expect. This is the same case for this other guy here. And I bought this tester off eBay and this is, I don't know if you can, if the camera can pick that up, but this is secret mission. It says it all around the cat. This is a tester that I got really really cheap off ebay as with a lot of the hugo boss baldessarini uh because they used to be pretty much joined at the hip uh fragrances um they rarely if ever tell you who the noses were on their fragrances i don't know why that is it just is so once again i don't know who the nose was for this uh but to start off Let's compare and contrast uh, 2011's draw, uh, issue of Private Affairs that had the square, I don't, I don't have it right here at the time, rectangular bottle, nice cap, nice simple presentation. Okay, so the top notes in that uh, cologne are bergamot, nutmeg, and juniper. But then here in Secret Mission, we are getting, we do get the bergamot, but then instead of the nutmeg, and juniper we are getting cypress and basil pretty big difference there for the top notes now back to private affairs and the heart we get lavender and geranium so a little bit simple i mean just just two two notes there for the heart we get three for this guy we get cardamom geranium and lavender so the geranium and lavender carry over but we do get the cardamom in this. I expect this to be just a little spicier, that little peppery type note. Now in private affairs, the base saw leather, maple, cedarwood, and sandalwood. It's a very rich, woodsy, little hint of maple. That's not the syrup, that's, that's the maple wood. And leather, of course. And now once again in Secret Mission, base note, we get agar wood. So basically oud, for lack of a better description, musk and cedar wood. So the, the cedar wood is the only thing that carries over in terms of the base notes. Okay, this is my scent of the day. So I'm going to re-spritz. I'm going to go quite heavy. I'm going to make this last for a bit. This is such a light scent, guys, that you're going to need to go really, really heavy. But it's really, really cheap, and it smells phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Imme immediately it opens up with cypress, basil, and bergamot. A little bit of that geranium lavender is coming through. Cardamom gives it a little spicy, slightly peppery uh, note there in the heart. And I am getting the oud from the agar wood. The musk is coming through. And it's got that little pleasant hint of cedar wood. I wouldn't say it's a hint. It's quite prominent, actually. This is a very masculine, rich, refined smell. A uh, fragrance that, honestly, I'm probably going to get hate mail out the yin -yang. Not that I have that many followers to, in order to get enough hate mail. But I honestly feel that this can virtually stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with most of Tom Ford's fragrances, except longevity will not be as good with the Baldessarini and projection will not be as good. And it may or may not be quite as polarizing, let's say. A lot of Tom's scents are so strongly recognizable that if you're someone that is going for a designer niche or our upper end designer, and you like frags that smell extremely Polarizing, uh, sharp, 
um, stand out from the crowd, very easy to recognize, then I don't know that this is quite going to go the distance in that regard. Having said that, I do feel this is a very lush, very well-crafted, a fairly unique scent. Is it the most unique scent I've ever smelled? Of course not. But neither is it anywhere near the average generic uh, men's cologne. Like not even to talk about like blues because I'm not a fan of anything blue in general. I think blue colognes and eau de toilettes are literally nothing more than a marketing scheme. Uh, preying literally on the ignorance of the masses. I hate to say that but they all kind of smell like, like a sweet, light, generic cough syrup uh, with just a hint of this and a hint of that. And they last like, you're lucky if you get two hours out of them, honestly. You're lucky in some cases if you get an hour of active projection out of most blues. Most blues, you're not going to get more than 20 to 30 minutes of what I call active projection, where, you know, it's radiating out from your body, you know, to whatever extent that we're talking about, six inches, a foot. Even three inches, most blues are not going to do even a three inch projection after 30 to 45. They're just not. And that's just been a lot of experience for a lot of perfume and cologne users online. Uh, anyways, to wrap it up, this is a fantastic scent. It's creamy. It's rich. It's almost oriental slightly. It's, it's spicy. There is a floral component, but it's blended so well with the musk, this... The wood, the woodsy notes from the from the uh, cypress and the cedar wood, a little bit of the pepper again from the cardamom and the oud from the agarwood and the musk, along with that basil and the freshness of the bergamot, and then of course you have lavender geranium, really just rounding this out, guys. This is such a classy. Uh, it's central, but I don't know that I would call it overtly sexy. If that makes sense, it's not ultra gourmand. It's not going to like. It's not going to meet your lover, you know, 10 feet away and just go, oh my God, and they melt into your arms. But it is a sophisticated, fantastic scent. I do think it's probably slightly better suited for work, office, uh, or elegant functions, uh, or business functions. Uh, you could certainly wear this on a date, but I think you have to have a little bit more confidence and refinement. Uh, not to rely as much on an opulently smelling, just you know, I'm going to knock you out from five feet away type frag that, to be quite frank, most younger people are into and don't mind. You, you won't find many men uh, in their 50s that are wearing powerhouse frags. I t I'm, I'm being a little, a little nitpick, not entirely truthful, but I'm just trying to make a point that there is a difference in mindsets, the way that we approach uh, colognes, fragrances, perfumes. As we age, we tend to get a little more conservative in some fashion or form or way we tend to become more refined our taste our sensibilities we tend not to want to gas people out of the room as frequently or, or as powerfully as when we were in our 20s or even 30s if that makes sense so that's just my feeling on the matter you you may feel differently you're certainly entitled to that we all have our own experiences to draw from again get your nose in this guys it's so cheap why don't you just pick up a tester or a small bottle on eBay or one of the, the famous fragrance discounter websites? You might even find this in some of your TJ Maxx's, Ross's, Marshall's, uh, or other discount stores I'm not familiar with. Get your nose on this. It's really, really fantastic uh, fragrance, but there are some haters out there. There are some detractors, so I'm not one of them. But again, respraying with something that smells this good and is this cheap, I have no problems with but I will more than understand if you don't want to buy something like this simply because it's not going to actually project past an hour. It's, just, it's really not. It's going to become a skin scent. Uh, at, at best, it will be a mild scent bubble at, at around the two to three hour mark. So, But again, this, this, the skin scent will linger much, much longer than the active projection. But if you need to respray, respray. I mean, we're talking $20 a bottle here, guys. Come on. Uh, and it smells fantastic. So it's definitely a little bit more mature. I think if you're under the age of 30 or so, or upper 20s at least, you're probably not going to want to rock this scent, quite frankly. You might. Again, you, it's up to you. But this is definitely probably for the uh, roughly 30 and up group, especially 40s and up. Um, but it's a great scent. Get your nose on it. If you like my channel, subscribe and hit the bell. For future updates, guys, that's going to do it. I have got to go. I will see you next time. Spray often. Spray well. 
Live life on your terms. Peace. Love you guys.